So the project started about six years ago, um, and someone who works for Sarasota County Water Resources named John Ryan, he was noticing that he had a lot of scientific data about the way the waterways had changed in Sarasota, but when he was talking to people, he was getting a lot of interesting stories about it. Sometimes I think about what Sarasota used to be, a tiny little fishing village. Everybody knew everybody. There weren't many cars, there weren't many streets. It was a quiet little town. John realized that um, as people were getting older and we were losing them, we were also losing these stories. So he really wanted to figure out a way to start capturing them. And he asked the county archaeologist at the time, who was a New College alum, what to do about it. And she said, well, that's oral history, and there are people in New College who can help you. So she contacted me, and I asked some students if they wanted to do an oral history project. So I think there's just something about listening to people's words and, and seeing images of them and images of the past that moves us in a way that reading the transcripts doesn't do. I thought it was wonderful. <laughs> Anna Maria was like heaven. And there was only about 10 children on the whole island. We children were just like one big family. All of that is available. It's archived at the Sarasota History Center, but it's also available online at sarasotaoralhistory.com. And they're also available on the New College YouTube website. So there are a lot of different ways to see the past projects. And the projects that students are working on this semester will be screened to the public in January. So um, people can also come and see them for the first time at that public screening. And that's a really great event because the students are there and the people that they interview are there and usually the families of the people they interview are there. So you really get to see the relationships that have developed between the students and, and the people they're interviewing and also be part of this great community event. It was a good life, a, a real good life. I remember one old fellow used to tell us he said, boys, you think you're going to get rich, but you won't. And sometimes you think you're going to starve to death, but you won't. You know, <laughs> and really what more can you ask?